G'day, y'all. Wow, that was a mix of Aussie and American, wasn't it? It was bad. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the video. We are looking at a fun, fun video that I drew up. That's right. License plate. That's right. Or as I think Aussies would say number plates, usually. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's one of the first things you see when you look at a car. And obviously, if you're a car guy, you're into the car or the truck or the ute or whatever. Uh, but sometimes this can be used to decorate your car if you have a, like a custom plate or, you know, just certain states plates look good with certain colored cars, things like that. It's kind of the fun things that, you know, people do just to, uh, to pass the time, right? And I have to say, I'm a little biased. Uh, I'm usually really open to the whole world and I, that's what this channel is. That's what I'm really doing is loving learning about Australia. But I do have to say, unless we can change my mind here, I do believe the U.S. just has the best license plates ever. I mean, for, for Pete's sakes, we have 50 states. We have territories beyond that. And then each state usually has multiple license plates you can choose from. It's really cool, and they go all out. But enough of that crap. Let's move on, and let's see and learn about some Aussie license plates. I cannot wait to hear your comments down below. You got to be telling me stuff like, what plate do you have? What's your favorite plate? Was there an older version that was better than a new one? Stuff like that. Some custom ones. Tell me about your favorite plates, and if you know anything about U.S. license plates, tell me your favorite American plate, too, and I'll show you mine at the end. All right, so we are going to the history section of good old Wiki here. Everyone knows Wiki, and it's the first thing that comes up. Makes it easy for me. Let's just look right at it. So first of all, we have this row of plates here, and I believe these are older issued plates. So have a little bit going on, and I like how they're all different. That's a plus. Uh, obviously, these are not as decorated as most American plates, so that's why I said the American thing. I think they just go all out, and it's really cool. But let's take a look here. We have Australian Capital Territory. Pull it up right here, right in your face. Look at that. White and blue are the colors. Looks pretty clean, and uh, nothing wrong with that one. New South Wales, I like this one a little better. The yellow is cool. You don't see yellow much. So yellow with the black letters. This looks pretty sharp. Uh, I like it. There's Queensland, the Sunshine State. I like how they put the name and their nickname on there. How can you argue with Sunshine State? Sounds like a great place to be. Uh, white with a dark red. Looks sharp. Red's my favorite color, so I'm not going to dislike that. Here we have South Australia. Now, this is pretty plain. This uh, isn't bad or ugly. It's just it's good enough. But uh, I feel like that one is old and probably minimal effort and would be forgettable. Or, or maybe you wouldn't even notice it on the road. Uh, Tasmania, this one's cool. Again, like Queensland, they have the name, and then they also have a motto on there. So Tasmania, explore the possibilities. Really cool to see. We even have a logo here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a Tasmanian devil or, I don't know, like a fox or something. <laughs> but uh, it's really cool sticking through the brush there, and then presumably that's some water there. Uh, white and blue. This one, I'm getting American vibes. Not America vibes as in it looks American or copied America. Just American vibes in my head as in, this is what I'm used to seeing. Some colors, you know, some pictures or logos depicted on here, and then the state with a motto. This is really, really well done. I like this. Now we have Victoria, the education state. So they went with the name and the motto as well. I like that. We have blue and white again. I do like how it has the little triangle come down and they incorporate Vic like sneakily on there. I like that a lot. This is a good looking plate. I don't mind this one at all. And then look at this Western Australia plate. This is cool. I love the sun kind of dipping low below this imaginary horizon here. Uh, you have Western Australia with the blue and white, but in this time we have blue dip down about a quarter of the way. And I like this. It's got some more splash of color. It's got Western Australia at the top and numbers on the bottom, a little bit different than we saw before. Very, very cool plate. Very nice. And then finally, they got this one right. Northern Territory, Outback Australia. I like how it says Outback Australia right on the plate. And you have that Outback color. That is like the color of the dirt, of the soil, of the red rocks. That orangish red, uh, that deserty color like that looks really, really cool. This is a cool plate. And then here you can see these little, I'm not going to click on these. They're just like little generic uh, versions of them. You can kind of see what they look like. Uh, we have a Federal Interstate plate. So maybe this is for like heavy vehicles. 
or, or something, something, some sort of work or industrial vehicle, uh, and it's green and yellow or turquoise and yellow. Kind of cool. Reminds me, look, at we have some smashed bugs on there. How cool is that? Attention to detail. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Australia's Olympic colors, you know, like the Summer Olympics, how they have that, that teal sort of color. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's a neat, it's a neat color. Uh, combined with the gold, it's really neat. And then also another heavy vehicle plate. So that's kind of cool. They have that. You can see the the kind of hidden kangaroos uh, that are probably like a reflective logo on there. I like that. And then you have the black font with the blue and the national heavy vehicle. Pretty cool. Some more plates here, like an LPG Western Australia, another Western Australia, a Victoria Stay Alert, Stay Alive. Kind of cool. We have the star cluster on that one. And then look at these. What are these? Australian military? Oh, look at that. We got army plates. That's really neat. Uh, presumably on government vehicles. Really cool. That Air Force plate, right? Now we can click on each state uh, real quick. So look at this. Look at this way old New South Wales plate. We have the NSW. This is old. It's just black with some white numbers printed on there. Front of car only. So this was a front plate apparently. Uh, quick question, guys. In the U.S., in America... Some states require you to have a front plate as well as a back plate. Of course, every single state, federal, nationwide, you have to have a plate on the back of the car. Uh, but I, I don't know how many off the top of my head. I'd say maybe it's half and half. Some states, you don't have to run a front plate. You can put whatever you want on there. You can leave the car plain in front, however you want, have that clean look. And you don't need a front plate, which is really cool. That's what car guys kind of prefer, in my opinion, or what I would prefer. And then some states require you to have the back plate with a registration sticker every year. And then a front plate usually doesn't need a sticker on the front, but you still have to have the plate that matches the back. So, yeah, it just kind of depends on the state. How is that in Australia? Do all the states, you know, nationwide, do you have to have a front and back plate? Or can you just run a rear plate and, and forget about the front in certain states? Definitely let me know down below. I'm kind of curious about that. And then right here, we have the general plates, uh, a better breakdown. So we have 1937 and 1951 was that old black one. And then 51 through 80, look at that. And then I'm not going to break down every year. But yeah, you can see the 80s, 90s. You had this kind of faded gold or like light beige color. Uh, New South Wales, the first state, the premier state. So different sayings on there, kind of cool. And then look at this is supposedly the present one right here, which is the yellow and the black like we saw earlier. Now I'm thinking the plates that we saw in the beginning were the current ones. Uh, you can also get Euro plates. Is that a thing? That's kind of neat because I noticed Australian plates aren't as short and stocky as American plates. And they're not as long and thin as the Euro plates. But are you legally allowed to run a Euro plate if you want, like a Euro style plate, even though it says New South Wales? That's kind of cool if you are. I like that. Here we have a bicentennial plate. That's really neat. Uh, 1788 to 1988. We have the Aussie flag, of course, uh, but it looks a little different. It has like a different logo if you see over there. So I don't know anything about your guys' flags. Maybe that's like a New South Wales state flag. Do you guys have state flags? Because state flags is also a very popular thing. Uh, in the United States of America. And again, they go all out on their state flags, a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of a cool little crest there. And uh, obviously a special edition plate for the Bicentennial. And look at this, a historic vehicle plate. So that's cool. Oh, look at this one. This is a custom or special edition plate rather for New South Wales for Sydney 2000. That's right, the Olympics. Share the spirit. That's really cool. Uh, I bet those are maybe collectible. I don't know if someone has those. All right, and then I'm going to pick up the pace here. We have some uh, Queensland plates, and I'm digging these right away. Look at this. Look at this. That is so cool. Look at that. We got the palm tree. We have the black background with the nice black white letters, and then a cool font, Tropical Queensland. Loving this plate. This might be my favorite one so far. I dig that a lot. Take a look at this one, an Outback Queensland plate. You know, I forget that Queensland is so big. I associate Queensland with being tropical, a lot of coastline, very hot and humid. Uh, but I also forget there is a section of the outback that bleeds into Queensland, correct? Really, really crazy. Uh, that is a cool looking plate, got to admit. I almost uh, kind of get New Mexico vibes here because they use red and yellow a lot. And of course, New Mexico is barren desert as well. And they like to use this windmill logo 
uh, in certain depictions. So that's kind of cool. Look at this personalized plate, Queensland's Great Barrier Reef. That's really cool that they have a plate for that. I imagine personalized plates like this are more expensive than regular plates, right? Uh, but that is something really cool and a way to stand out. Love the colors on there. Uh, and how cool is it to have a wonder of the world on your license plate? And then if you look to the right, we have some South Australia plates. South Australia, uh, as a state, looks like awesome place. This is not a knock on them at all. Only the license plates. They're, <laughs> they're just kind of lacking, man. I guess they got that clean look. They're just white with very little color usually white with black letters, and a lot of these are just kind of underwhelming. That's just my opinion. And look at this whole page. There's really nothing that, that catches my eye. All right, and then Tasmania, their special page here. Uh, not much other than that cool plate we saw. I really do like this plate, uh, but other than that, uh, look at this. I mean, that's kind of cool how it's all black. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not seeing too much in a way of crazy plates here. And then look at these different Victoria ones. They, they have changed their uh, saying on the plate quite a lot. We have the Garden State. We have On the Move, The Place to Be, Stay Alert, Stay Alive, things like that. Uh, look at this cool slim slimline black plate, it says. Of course, the Education State with the Star Cluster. We saw that earlier. And uh, they do have their own version of Euro plate. That's kind of neat. Ooh, look at this uh, taxi service. That's kind of interesting, the green with the star cluster. And then look at this nice collection of WA, baby, Western Australia plates. Uh, nice different collections. We have some yellows, some blues. They use a lot of two-tone. I like that a lot. Their classic plates look pretty cool. The yellow and black. Uh, dude, there is a lot of different ones. Look at this one. This is nice. Got the flowers. It almost looks pink. It's either red or pink. Not sure, but I, I like it. Nice, warm, friendly vibe. Looks really cool for a license plate, got to admit. And yeah, just a lot of different versions. So uh, they have Euro style. Look at that. They have tons of different Euro styles. Look at the Euro premium. That's pretty sick, dude. Gold and black with a cool splash of color. The Western, the W, Western Australia logo. Really, really neat. I like this plate a lot. This is up there with uh, maybe my top two favorites. The palm tree one from Queensland just had a really fun vibe. Uh, and then uh, my, I guess my top three so far, this one. This is really neat. And this one. So Western Australia taking two of the top three right now. And look at this. I found a Christmas Island plate. Yes, that's part of Australia, right? Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean, part of Australia. Look at the bright yellow, the black numbers. Look sharp. And uh, I tell you what, that logo is really cool. We have the sun uh, with some mountains there. Of course, the water and crabs. Uh, look, at, look at this special purpose vehicle for uh, Northern Territory, again with that bright orangish red color. Uh, I'm digging all the, the Northern Territory plates, although there's not that many, uh, but they're, they're cool. They're kind of classic. They're kind of that rugged Outback Australia style. I like it, and uh, it's, it's more on the plain side, but it, it, it fits the theme. It gets the point across, and, and I like it. Here is a Canberra 100 plate. This is kind of cool. I like the color. Uh, and then, of course, you have their familiar pattern there. Celebration of a Century 2013. So, yeah, kind of cool. Other than that, not very much going on with the ACT plates. But okay, and then it has links to some uh, sites on here that have special or personalized plates from each state. So this is the first one I'm looking at is Northern Territory. So we're on nt.gov.au. And look at there are some standard plates like we saw. But then look at these. These are kind of neat. Some sort of tree, maybe a palm tree. Uh, some like, like bird, I don't know. They're kind of cool, uh, with the red letters and the yellow sun and then a silhouette of whatever they're depicting. And then this Explorer Territory one is kind of neat as well. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Custom Northern Territory plates. Who knew? And then uh, another one that takes us to New South Wales for custom plates. Uh, let's just look. Let's look and see what we got. Look at these. Oh my God. They have everything under the sun. Is this real guys? You can get this many different plates. For New South Wales, you got to tell me if this is real. Like, you can get real license plates that are as real as it gets, like the ones you need for your car to be legal. Or is this, like, a decorative thing that you do at car shows or what? You got to tell me the difference if you know down below. I appreciate it. And then here we are in the Victoria custom plates. Uh, I'm assuming, look at that. Whoa, that one's cool. I don't know if these, again, are, are real or there's something, like, just for collections or something. Look at this liquid metal plate. Uh, the letters look really weird like in a good way. They look cool. And then look at black plates for motorbikes. Ooh, what do we have? Look at this. 
Oh my God, we have AFL plates. What? Oh, that is so cool. Some more Euro plates, slimline black. That's really neat. South Australia plates, I have to have a account, so I'm not going to do that. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, they got some custom plates. Look at, you can have redo old ones, it looks like. Look at that. I, see, I don't know if this is like an overlay or, or if it's a real plate. I'm not sure, guys. You got to tell me about that. But, uh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of different styles like we saw for the other states. Really, really cool. Uh, no look on this one either. So, yeah, just keep in mind some of these sites don't really let me in. Uh, but that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, these were really cool. If there's any I missed, you got to tell me about it down below. What are your, some of your favorite plates that you saw in this video or that you just know of in general? And uh, I, I really can't wait to be educated by you guys about this. Number plates, license plates, whatever you call them, I really think they're, they're really cool and they're fascinating. They're just naturally a part of your car. You got to have them, right? So uh, it's really cool when you see some... Uh, that that look really nice and and may even go with the car well depending on the color scheme and all these different things so yeah really fun to learn about and uh, as promised uh, I gave you my top three for the Aussie plates so you heard that uh, and then my top three for American plates is tough because there's so many cool American plates um, dang that is really tough guys uh, so my my number three is going to be Florida uh, they have the really cool plate I'll, I'll put a picture of it here you know, it's like bright white, and then it you know says Florida, Sunshine State, and it has the, the state outline kind of. I like how it's white and green, and then you have, of course, the orange tree. So you have the bright orange there, and it just gives you that citrusy, hot, you know, uh, warm feel, that tropical feel, and uh, that's why Florida is pretty popular here. Uh, number two, I'm going to give to Utah. Utah's plate is awesome. How can you argue with uh, their Mars-like landscapes? You have the red rocks. You have the arch on there i love their slogan life elevated uh, really cool font as well for everything just a cool plate really really neat as and as someone who loves like the west and the scenery especially with like red rocks and stuff like that really cool plate that they just embrace that and go all out on it utah's got a great plate and then finally the winner uh, and it's not just my winner this usually wins there's some i don't know who does it but there is some actual competition for like the best plates every other year in the u.s and this state consistently wins, and I have to agree, yeah, yeah, it's New Mexico, baby. New Mexico has awesome plates, and most plates have usually one, maybe two, but usually one standard plate, and then you can pick personalized plates. New Mexico is pretty interesting. They have three standard plates, so with no additional charge, you can pick from three. Uh, I will put those three on here right now. The standard one, or I guess the most common, is the yellow one, and it has like the cool... Uh, navajo style print at the top in green and then you know the red letters the zia the state symbol in the middle like the yucca plant and, and some desert plants on the bottom it's a really really cool plate uh very unique and, and you know it when you see it oh that's new mexico uh, as well as the turquoise plate the land of turquoise baby they love the turquoise and how often do you see a turquoise plate? Well, never. They're, that is exclusive to New Mexico. Uh, of course, we have the yellow and the Zia in the middle as well. Great plate. And then the really, really sleek, especially on some really cool cars and trucks, uh, especially if they're darker colored, would be like the black plate. And the black plate features the chili peppers, of course, you know, hatch green chili, you know, red chili up north. Uh, that is the really, really what New Mexico is famous for. And they love their chili, and they grow it there, and it is the chili capital of the world. And it's cool to see it depicted on the plate as a splash of color. Love the black plates. It's outlined in yellow, and it has the yellow letters. And it says New Mexico, USA, because some people are really dumb and don't know that New Mexico is a state. How the hell can you not know that? But yeah, really, all three of them are really cool. My tur The turquoise one being my favorite. But there you go, guys. That is this video. I thought this was really enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let's talk in the comments. And please throw a thumbs up and like this video. Uh, it will help it out. I appreciate it. I hope this gets a lot of views. This, is, this was a fun one. Subscribe. We're almost at 50K. Get us there, guys. We're so close. Come on. Check. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that red button. And ring the bell so you don't miss another one. Check that description for ways you can interact with my channel. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, guys. Catch you later.